I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenna and in today's video we are going to be getting some cleaning done. So if you have some cleaning or laundry that you need to get done as well, let's go ahead and tackle it together. I will put out all of the fire if it gets too dark. So these are obviously the cup holders that is in my couch and I could not believe how dirty and disgusting they were. Like I was seriously shocked because all we do is put drinks in there but I guess just like in the air with the dogs and stuff, stuff just gets in there and I know the kids do put some toys in there but I was seriously shocked how dirty it was. But then I was kind of shocked with how easy it was to clean as well. Like I really thought it was going to be difficult, but when it was done, it was so satisfying to see. Like it, they seriously look like they're brand new cup holders. channel I will go ahead and tell you a little bit more about myself and my channel my name is Jenna I am a wife and a stay-at-home mom to two littles and I'm currently pregnant with baby number three we are having a baby girl and I am due next month February so very close which is so crazy we also have three dogs and on my channel you guys are going to find tons of cleaning organizing decluttering and laundry motivation along with anything really motherhood and lifestyle so if that sounds like something you are interested in please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Leave a comment down below because I always reply to all my comments and I love getting to know you guys. Do you ever 
Okay, I saw this hack on TikTok and I have done it to one of my bathroom sinks, but I really wanted to do it to my kitchen sink. So what you do is you put baking soda like right on your drain and then you go ahead and you pour vinegar down it. And I think what it's doing is cleaning it and disinfecting it really well because you can't really do that with your drain yourself unless like you have a brush and you're going in there and cleaning it. And my drains seriously need it because yes, our garbage disposal is still broken. We still have not purchased a new one. Who knows when we're going to. The goal for 2022 is to purchase a garbage disposal. So we're going to see how long it takes for us to actually do that. But I wanted to show you guys that hack and it works really well. I also did like another TikTok hack probably about a month or two ago with that, like the actual faucet of the kitchen. And I also did it with the bathrooms. And it's also involving vinegar where you put it in a bag and then you like um, rubber band it. So then it actually sits in your faucet and it gets like all the black gunk and stuff off. That's really gross and disgusting. And then you can like scrub it off with a brush. So I highly recommend that TikTok hack as well. I'll have to show you guys and do a video because our bathroom sinks desperately need that done as well. You don't want to be friends, I guess not. Baby, no, I don't want to go. You know how much I hate sleeping alone. I can never make it on my own. has been so hard for me physically you guys I have just been so exhausted I have not wanted to do anything I have just been so tired and it just makes me feel lazy like I hate that feeling like I feel like I haven't done enough around the house or haven't done anything and it has just been so hard like I am just exhausted and knocked from this pregnancy I'm so tired I do have my 36 week appointment and an ultrasound my last ultrasound coming up so I do plan on vlogging that day a little bit doing like a day in my life and showing you guys and kind of giving you a pregnancy update I am just so ready for baby girl to be here because I'm just exhausted. I am ready to just be able to bend over and not feel like I'm going to pop a rib out or that she's just going to flop out. I know obviously she's not. This is my third baby. But oh my gosh, you guys, this week has just been so hard on me. This weekend, we have Savannah's birthday party and I know I'm going to be so zonked from her birthday party. It's just going to be so exhausting. 
But I will have two videos for you guys, a birthday party prep and clean with me video, and then an after party clean with me video. Hopefully I have the energy to do the after party clean with me. Fingers crossed, I definitely should though, just because I'm already made cleaning anyways, and I know a lot of you guys love the after party cleaning motivation. I know that I do because that's like the hardest part for me is when a birthday party or a party's over with to go ahead and get everything cleaned up. Even though I will say I am super motivated to get my house back to normal after that, but I will also be disinfecting my house just because I will have people in my house and I want to make sure everything is clean and disinfected for my family and then whenever the baby arrives. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low same time, feels so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool But if I fall, I would get up again time you guys have ever seen my Roomba on my channel. So we actually purchased this Roomba back in 2019, beginning of 2020 when I was pregnant with Maverick, just because it was getting really exhausting with vacuuming all the dog hair and such. And we had that at our old house and then we brought it to this house. And if you guys have been a subscriber for a long time, you'll remember that we had like a sectional couch sofa along with a rug. So the Roomba always used to get stuck on the rug and that's why we kind of quit using it. We kind of put it up because it kept getting stuck on it and it was getting so much dog hair like stuck on it and it was just a huge pain in the butt. We couldn't run it whenever we weren't there or whatever. So now we always run it at 5 a.m. We run it at 5 a.m. because Zach wakes up for work around that time and he can check on it, make sure everything is okay and that it's running smoothly and if it needs emptied then he can go ahead and empty it. But having a Roomba has saved my life. Life. Like I seriously forgot how much I loved our Roomba. I will go ahead and try to find it in my Amazon orders from a couple years ago and link it for you guys if they still even make this Roomba. I'm sure they do, but it does an amazing job. I have only had to vacuum twice a week instead of vacuuming every single day. Such a lifesaver and it is really going to help out a lot when baby girl arrives. At the same time, feels the right thing. it might be distracting that I'm eating as I'm folding the laundry but your girl was really hungry and needed a snack while she was folding laundry and I am obsessed with the cheese sticks from Sam's Club so that's what I was snacking on just had to go ahead and let you guys know that <laughs> Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back. I want you, 
Hit you up, I'm on the other side I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came me way too strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Bottle, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Off my radar now I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denying Alright you guys, and that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and it gave you tons of cleaning and laundry motivation. If you did like today's video, please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. I have some exciting videos coming your way, so you are not going to want to miss them. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm chasing ghosts, I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold. It's really a bad reception now.